Hi and welcome back. In this video I'm going to show you how you can sniff usernames, passwords and web pages using Wireshark, also known as a network sniffer. A network sniffer is a tool that can help you locate network problems by allowing you to capture and view the packets on your network. Wireshark is available for free at Wireshark website and you can download for Windows, Linux and other platforms. But for this tutorial I will use Wireshark from my Windows machine. If you want to start Wireshark on Kali Linux, just open a terminal and type Wireshark and wait a few seconds. The protocols that we'll be analyzing are FTP and HTTP. FTP stands for File Transfer Protocol and HTTP for Hypertext Transfer Protocol. So, let's get started. Wireshark is really easy to use actually. All you have to do first of all is tell it which interfaces you want to capture. So, I will go up here and click Capture, Options and Interfaces. And then I have to pick the correct interface which I want to use. So, I'm going to select it and press start and now I will start capturing traffic on that interface. Now let's say I want to connect to an FTP server on the internet. So I will open up a FileZilla connection to my web host and click quick connect. Now it's connecting to my web host online using my username and password which is FTP password 88. So I will stop the capture and close my connection and let's take a look at what we have. So here is the capture package. As you can see it's a ton of information but FTP is the protocol I'm interested in. And you can see right here user frostweb and then the password which is FTP password 88. If you follow the TCP stream, you can see the username and password. Now I'm going to show you how to obtain the username and password from an HTTP site. So once again click Capture, Interfaces and click Start. Then you want to go to the site you are trying to steal the login information and type in the username and password. I will put in test user and password just let me in. Now I will switch back to Wireshark and stop the capture. You also need to change the filter to HTTP request method equal equal and in caps post. This is just going to make the packet easier to find. When you locate the packet again use left click and select follow TCP stream. As you can see here is the user login and the password. So since packet sniffing is so simple it is important to know how to protect against it. If you have to put any important information make sure the site uses HTTPS which is a secure protocol to perform a denial of service attack on a wireless access point. First of all let's understand what is a denial of service attack. Is an attack meant to shut down a system or server by denying users to access a service or website. So I will switch to my Kali machine and put my wireless card into monitor mode using the following command Airmon ng star wlan 0. Now I want to scan all the access points in range using aerodump ng wlan 0 man. To stop the scanning use Ctrl plus C and then select your network. Mine is Kynet. So I'm going to need the MAC address of the access point and the channel. Then type aerodump ng channel 6 and the BSS ID of the router. This will show you the clients that are connected to the access point. Now I will perform the actual attack with AirPlay ng dash 0 and the number of packets and dash a and then the MAC address of the access point. 
Now press enter. This attack will disconnect everyone from the network. So I will switch to my Windows machine and as you can see in my taskbar shows that I am connected. And you can see now that I have lost my connection. If you want to have a little more fun, you could create fake routers that basically floods your options when you search for a network to connect. First I'm going to flood my local area with random fake wireless routers. So I'm going to use MDK WLAN 0 MON, B which is a beacon flood and use channel 5 by dash C and press enter. And if you look it's flooding with these fake names right here. Now to show you that it's working I'm going to click on my wireless taskbar. And you can see it's showing these random wireless networks. You can also change the names for the routers by using a simple file with some names. So after the dash C type dash F, which means the computer is going to use a file to generate these names instead of random characters. So I'm going to drag and drop the file in here and press enter. Now again I'm gonna go to my taskbar and show you that it's working. But if someone tries to connect to these networks, it's not going to work. Because the purpose of this is just to flood your options to how to crack wireless web encrypted passwords. So I will start by enabling web encryption in my access point. For that I need to go to the wireless security tab and select web. This will allow me to enter a key. I will use a simple password and click save. Now let's switch to my Kali machine and put my wireless card into monitor mode. And then type aerodump ng wlan 0 mon to display the wireless networks. So I will select my network and type aerodump ng c for the channel. And you can see it's running on channel 6. Now this is the name of the file that the data is going to be written. You can choose whatever name you want, but in my case I will type web, followed by the BSS ID of the access point. And then the interface. As you can see there is one computer connected to this access point. And here you have a field with data which is climbing very slowly. Now to crack the password you need a huge amount of data. So the attack that I will use will make the data climb at an enormous rate. So first of all I will associate with the access point using airplay ng dash one for fake authentication, then dash a and then the BSS ID of the access point. Once you associate you will get this message. So now I'm going to start the attack using the same command again, just different syntax. Airplay ng dash free for ARP replay attack, dash b for the BSS ID of the access point. And you can see here that the data is climbing at a quicker rate. Now the data is getting saved to this file here called web01 cap. That's the file I'm going to use to crack the password. So I will use aircrack ng and the name of the file. And now it's using the data that I'm collecting to crack the password. If you don't have enough data it will tell you that it failed. So I will pause the video and wait until I have enough data. Ok so the tech has been running for about a minute now. And I have a huge amount of data here. Now go ahead and run the command again. And you can see the password has been successfully cracked. Another easy way to crack web encryption is by using an automated Wi-Fi hacking tool called Wi-Fi. So in your terminal type Wi-Fi and now wait a few seconds to scan the wireless networks. When you see your network press Ctrl plus C to stop the scan. Now I can hack a single network by typing in the number or multiple networks by typing all. So I will type 1 which is the number of my network and press enter. 
and let the script run until it gets enough packets to crack the password. I will pause the video again and return back when the password is cracked. As you can see, the key has been cracked. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Thank you.